So anyway, if you saw a really big orange butterfly with green polka dots in the Antarctic, what would you do? I mean, I don't really know what I do. And why would I be in the Antarctic? And why would I be in the Antarctic anyway? I mean, that doesn't really make sense. How can the butterfly? Flies live there. I mean, come on. It's like really cold and stuff. I mean, I really wouldn't like to live in Antarctica because it'd be really, really cold. I mean, the butterflies would be like, and then the butterflies would be like, oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It's cold. And you know, you're really down because I mean, their wings would freeze. And what would happen if the wings froze and then hit a branch? The wings would drop, snap, and the butterflies would be like, yeah. <laughs> And then their wings would be gone, and then they can take their humans to their nest and sacrifice them to the big butterfly god. We're actually really moths, but the butterflies don't know that because the butterflies think that the moths are the exact same thing, except they're not as pretty and colorful. Do you know that moths really aren't butterflies, but they're like caterpillars that were once caterpillars, but they're not caterpillars anymore because... Okay, so why do we get the last one? Because they evolved from like cocoons and stuff. I mean, did you know what I mean? Like, because you know, if you've ever seen a cocoon, it's like... And you know, how can like a little moth or like a really big butterfly... Or something come out of a small cocoon. Okay? Hi, Claire! Ow! <laughs>